Hello, um, so I have just filmed this makeup look. It is the third time I've filmed this video, but now I have two great big softbox lights. So hopefully that it's a lot better. And the last video I filmed, I used my new camera, but the zooming it was just not good. So hopefully this one is great. I didn't talk through the makeup because I just wanted it to be about the makeup. Um, as you can see, yeah, so keep watching to see how I created this look. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first of all, I used the Garnier moisturiser. I really like this moisturiser. It's really cheap and cheerful, um, but I found it to be the best moisturiser that I've ever purchased from high-end to drugstore. I can get it in Sainsbury's, and yeah, and it just does really good things for my skin. I definitely put way too much moisturiser on my face there. I don't know why when you put moisturiser on your face just goes red. Just rubbing it all over my arms just to get try and get rid of some of the moisture. Uh, the second thing I used was the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. Um, I definitely think this is a really good product to use as a primer. I'm not necessarily sure if it's designed for that. Um, but I find that it just mattifies my skin um, and just makes a really good base for putting on foundation. Um, it's got a slight yellow tinge to it but... I don't think it really changes the colour of my face very much, maybe just gets rid of a little bit of the redness. Again, probably put way too much on, I was getting so carried away. Uh, the next thing I use is the Benefit Hello Flawless, I think it's the Oxygen Foundation. Um, I really like this, it does look a little bit too dark for my skin but I promise it blends out better. Um, I really like the staying power on this um, and I'm using the Real Techniques buffing brush to buff it in. I kind of go between a buffing brush and a beauty blender depending on how I'm feeling and how my skin is feeling to what I use in to blend in my foundation. Um, but I really like this, um, I think the yellow kind of tone just takes out the redness in my face. I never realised how hard filming a makeup video is on YouTube. I big credits to all the people that do such an amazing job every day. Also, I've sped this up already and it seems to be taking forever. Does anyone think my uh, cat ears are quite cute? I really like them. <laughs> Everyone seems to wear cat ears for two makeup videos, so I thought I would just join in. Anyway, so that is the base done, I think. Just hit keep blending, keep blending. When you film a video, does anyone else notice all the mistakes they make? Okay, so next I use two concealers. The first concealer is the Lottie London Concealer. Um, I love this concealer. It's in the shade Shell. Um, it's really cheap. It's about £4. Um, yeah, and I just love it. It doesn't travel too well, um, but yeah, it's really, really great. And then for my under eye concealer, this is the Lumi Magique L'Oreal, I think, concealer. Um, yeah, it just really brightens your under eyes and just makes everything look a little bit better. And again, I'm using my Real Techniques blending brush to buff it all in. Um, I do kind of like a, using a beauty, or prefer to use a beauty blender. I just didn't have one with me when I was filming this. Um, I, oh, that's it, just get the mirror in the way. I prefer the beauty blender because it kind of pats it in rather than rubs it out. Uh, the next thing I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and my NARS Contour Brush. It's not actually the real contour brush, it's one from eBay. It cost me like a pound, but it does the same kind of job. Um, I'm really terrible at contour, so yeah, my techniques are probably terrible, but... It works for me um, and it kind of brings out my cheekbones a little bit. I really, yeah, I just love contour. Yep, so I'm just brushing that into my cheeks and I take a little bit more and put it onto my forehead and down my nose. I use the middle shade in the contour kit. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. Um, I'm super pale, so I, yeah, I love to uh, add in lots of contour and bronzer to make me look, you know, less, less ghostly. Okay, next up I use the Body Shop Honey Bronzer and a... Real Eco, I think it's called, a uh, bronzer brush, bronzer brush, I suppose. Um, yeah, and again, just adding loads to my face to uh, make it look like I've been on holiday. I probably used way too much. Oh, bless me. Um, but yeah, it just works for me. Next, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. It is a little bit too dark too dark for my eyebrows but I'm just kind of trying to make my way through it at the moment before I buy a new one. I'm just brushing through my eyebrows and then I just get a tiny bit on my brush. Uh, if you use this you will know if you have too much it kind of goes wrong so less is more and I kind of just start on the outside and then join it up. Um, I have very gappy eyebrows. Um, yeah I, I, I quite like the full look. 
um, and then I just take a line underneath. Don't you just hate it when you wear glasses and you just have that red spot continually on your nose? Well, if you don't, that's why I have a red spot on my nose, because my glasses. Yay! If, you, if anybody has any eyebrow tips on using pomade and how you get that really good flawless look, then please let me, mo let me know, because I can never get mine to look like that. Next up, I am using the Real Match Perfection uh, powder, and I just use it on my eyebrows. Eyebrows? That's not your eyebrow, Soph. Uh, I use that on my eyelids to uh, just add like a little bit of base. So I'm using the uh, Makeup Revolution palette. I think this is the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. I'm using one of the red shades just to put on my eyelids kind of looks a bit dark and crazy but yeah I like it so I'm just blending this in with a brush this is it's not any particular brush I think they're just from a set from eBay which cost me about two pounds for about 10 brushes but they're super fluffy and quite like the MAC 217 brushes that everyone seems to talk about and now I'm going to use a slightly darker shade um, yeah, let me just blow my brush because I'm so cool. I have to dab it on my hand because it's so pigmented. Otherwise, I'd literally like end up with ridiculous eyeshadow. Even more ridiculous than it looks now. I promise you it gets better. So yeah, I just dab this into the outer corners and kind of blend it inwards. I change brushes just to kind of sort of blend it out a little bit more. When the eyeshadow is still on the other brush, it kind of doesn't really blend. You kind of get the gel. Sorry, I'm really out of breath. I've just run up the stairs. <laughs> Yep, so that is that. Then I'm going to use the lightest shade. I have no idea what these are called, so I apologise. I will link the palette down below. It's definitely a really good palette. I know it's a dupe for something, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. It might be that uh, Modern Renaissance palette, but I might be wrong there. Um, yeah, I really like this eyeshadow look. Um, I love orangey kind of eyeshadow, so I thought I'd try red, and it just seems to really go sort of with my eyes, I think. I'm not really sure. Probably wrong. So I just put the lightest eyeshadow inside my eyes just to kind of make them stand out a little bit. So now I'm using the Lottie London uh, Wing It eyeliner I think and I'm just going to do a bit of a flick. Um, I'm actually really surprised that this um, that these flicks actually went okay. Most of the, the last two times I filmed this video the flicks have gone terrible so I wasn't didn't have big hopes. Um, yeah, as you can see I just draw from out and in and then I add the, the thinner bit on the outside. I'm not really sure that's the right thing to do, but it seems to work for me. It's only now I'm filming this voiceover that I noticed that my eyeshadow is really wonky. Anyway, skip that bit. Curl my eyelashes. Curl, curl, curl. I actually have really, really long eyelashes, um, which... I guess is quite a good thing and I should be really grateful but it's actually also really annoying because it means I get mascara on my my um eyelids because my yeah because my lashes are so long so I'm using the better than sex Too Faced mascara I love this mascara um I actually prefer it when it's a bit more dried out it's a bit like the um benefit real te uh, benefit uh their real mascara that's also better when it's a lot drier yeah I just love how it just kind of yeah well you can see the difference so I'm just getting some more on my brush and I'm going to go to the other side that's it great so I've just put the mirror just in front of the camera so now I can see what you're doing I'm really not sure I'm doing this uh, whole voiceover thing right but oh wells yep so just adding more and more mascara Woo, keep going. Almost there, I promise. Stick with me. I'm not really sure why I have a sad face. Must have got mascara on my eye. Probably. Yeah, yeah. I just really like this eyeshadow look. I don't know why. So now I'm using the Sleek Solstice Palette. This is my absolute favourite highlighting palette. And I'm going to use, I use both the shades. Um, I love the orange shade because it's kind of orangey and I love that and I also love the purple shade so I just mix them, the two together. 
I try to not go too overboard with the highlighter, which I quite like to do. So trying to keep it fairly natural. Sort of. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, so I just add that to the tops of my cheekbones and slightly down the side of my face, on the top of my nose. I don't, it's really weird how we like to have shiny noses, but then we, yeah, you know what I mean. And I put it on my top lip and then a little bit on under, on, this is so hard. Put it under my eyebrows. So yes, that is the finished highlighter look. I thought it wasn't recording them for a second. Okay, so finally, I am using two new products that I've not tried before. This is the Primark PS Eyeliner. Um, I can't remember what the shade's called, but it's quite like Mac Saw. Is that, or is that the lip? I can't remember. It's like the the the, the nude Mac lip liner. Um, yeah, I really liked it. Really nice, soft formula. Um, it's a little bit drying, but once you put lipstick on the top, it's actually okay. So yep, just putting that all over my lips. I like to put eyeliner, uh, eyeliner, for goodness sake, lip liner all over my lips. I just prefer it like that. Um, yep, so this is the Primark nudie lipsticky colour. Better than, better than my lips, but better. Oh, for goodness sake, it's so hard. Voiceovers are supposed to make it sound better. Sorry, guys. So yep, just putting that all over my lips. Rub my lips together. And uh, yeah, I actually really like this lipstick. It's, um... I think it's going to be one of my favourites. Yeah, so that is my finished look. Just uh, fluff my hair up, have a bit of a pose in the camera. Yeah, I hope you um, enjoy. I really hope you enjoyed my first video. Um, yeah, I loved filming it. I am loving my background, I'm loving the lights, I'm just loving everything except looking into the lens and not the viewfinder. Um, if you did enjoy my video please comment down below and tell me what you liked, I'd love to hear what you think and if you really want to see another video then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, I hopefully am going to be filming at least once a week because I love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, goodbye!